Hey, you guys. So, I'm not going to take too much of your time. I had an event the other day, just yesterday. And we did our little vision board. And or I gave people the option to, like, actually draw or cut and paste some pictures out for their actual dream job, dream vacation, dream house, anything that they dreamed of. So, the event turned out well. I was supposed to go out of town today. My intuition told me, don't do it. So, I had to go to the cemetery, visit my mother, get that energy going, get my momentum going, and reflect about what's going on. So, I have recently... Um, kind of shut down my page my personal page on Facebook and I've been focusing mainly on my business and my branding so today I'm reflecting and I'm figuring it out I haven't done my vision board I haven't even did my dream job career so I'm teaching and insisting on people to do this one simple thing and I haven't did it yet so I was supposed to not get on that highway today to do my vision board and to clean up and to reflect and to talk to my mother so women Sometimes men, but I know we have that intuition. Listen to it. Men have that voice. Okay? Use it. If it's telling you to do something, sit down and reflect on it. Don't try to ignore it. I could have easily ignored it, hit the highway, and it would have took me on a different path. I could have easily ignored it, hit the highway, and caught a flat tire. Because nothing is a coincidence. I could have easily went up there, hit the highway, and actually lost my, you know, credit card or something. I don't know. All I know is I listened. I listened. And that some things that people need to actually do start listening to yourself start listening to to your second third voice whatever it is start listening to your intuition start listening to your gut feeling okay and sit down and reflect and think about what you're supposed to do and where you're going be mindful use that time as reflecting you know use that time to be at peace Use that time to put on that meditation music. Use that time to do a five-minute meditation. Use that time wisely so you can further yourself, so you can get back on focus. I mean, get back on the right path and to stay focused. Use that time. So right now, I'm about to sign off. I'm about to drink some water, go home, and do my vision board. I'm going to do two. I'm going to post them later, but I'm going to do one vision board, and then I'm going to do my dream job or life, whatever, you know. So I'm going to do two. And I'm going to make sure I post it up in my room so I can reflect on it daily so I know for sure this is my criteria. I need to work on this. I need to get this. I need to stay focused. I don't like to be a hypocrite. So if I'm promoting health and I'm smoking cigarettes and telling you to stay healthy, that's not right. I don't like that. That's why I don't smoke. That's why I don't drink. That's why I'm vegan. I don't like to do that. So... I'm glad I reflected today and figured it out. I'm going to have to tell my homeboy exactly what it was. 
Because, yeah, I was in my feelings today. Someone was telling me not to hit the highway. So, I'm glad I did that. Start reflecting. Start digging down in deep to figure out what's really and truly going on. Um, it might take some time to actually do that because most of the time we're afraid of that person that we are going to become. But when something makes you afraid, it's a good thing. Because on the other side of fear, there is happiness. On the other side of fear, there is success. Deal with it. Deal with it. Don't avoid it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I told you I didn't want to take too much of your time. Let me know what you think. Let me know if this is uh, helpful at all. Okay. Take time out to reflect. Do some mindfulness. Do some self-affirmations. Some self-love. Do something today that actually will help you get further and closer to your goal. Thanks.